The term of office for the LOC 1 and the LOC 2 legally ended in 2006, but the Minister for Local Governments issued a statutory instrument to allow them to continue to operate. FDC's Major Rubaramira Ruranga sued the government when the Electoral Commission attempted to hold elections under the movement system. The, the country had adopted a political multi-party dispensation. We had agreed by way of uh, voting, uh, people decided that they wanted to have a political system that involved all political parties. Court then ruled that the current LC1 and LC2 were all illegal. August 10, 2006, uh, when, they, when they had actually wanted to carry out the elections, and the elections were stopped. But unfortunately, while these, uh, while these elections were stopped, and indeed the law uh, actually disbanded LOCs, they have continued to work uh, in, 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 defiance, in defiance of law. But the elections were never held as the government cited financial constraints. Now the local government ministry has directed the electoral commission to kickstart the process of the village elections. NTV has exclusively obtained a letter written by the acting permanent secretary and the minister of local government directing the electoral body. Now we electoral commission received a communication from the local government to say that the proposed amendments in the local government act were passed by parliament. And so the Minister of Local Government was requesting the elect uh, requested the Electoral Commission to come up with the budgetary provisions to carry out the local council one and parish elections. So that is the stage we are at. The Acting Permanent Secretary Patrick Mutabuire has also confirmed that a certificate of financial implication has already been granted by the Minister of Finance. The cost of holding the elections was going to be very high. Uh, in the region of 120 billion. So it necessitated the Minister of Local Government to process the amendment of the law to reduce the cost of holding elections, uh, which will now move from 120 billion to around the 50 billion. That's a very big reduction and saving. And uh, already we are proposing that the village elections be also held concurrently with the women. Uh, council uh, elections so that they are, they are held together. So the parliament passed the law and uh, we are waiting, it is being processed to be assented to and once it is done the, the electoral commission is ready to kick start the process of holding elections. The Minister of Finance gave us a certificate. You, you cannot go to cabinet to present a law without clearance from the Minister of Finance. The electoral commission will, will provide the ballot papers with the, the symbols, party symbols. Their continued stay in the office raises legal questions on what is likely to happen on the already executed work by the so-called illegal care persons in the villages. It would mean that what they have been doing is not legal and people could take them to court because they had no right, according to the law, to sign those things. They, 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 are, they were now unvoid. And in any case, up to now, they have never been elected. And these are positions that are supposed to be held when you have been elected. Uh, you, the law does not envisage a vacuum when handling certain matters. So the LOCs who were there were doing their work and uh, assisting this country to hold the fort and uh, keep running on. So we are getting, uh, we shall get new councils uh, uh, through these elections. A total of 57,691 LOC1 and 7,343 LOC2 chairpersons are expected to be voted into office. The government also says they are fulfilling the promise of paying salaries of all local council chairpersons. The government actually paid, is, pay, is paying the village, village chairpersons 120,000 and the parish chairperson is 120,000. So we pay them what we call ex gratia, a uh, casimo, sort of if, you are, if, you, if we can term it that way, of 120,000 at the end of a financial year. Look, we are failing to pay teachers. We are failing to pay doctors. Now you add on the ROCs 
who will be far, far, far more in terms of numbers. And yet you are failing to pay these ones. You are failing to pay the, the, the most important people, the teachers, for example. No, things are illegal when you go to court and you have a judgment. We cannot speculate. We would want to see someone who comes up with a judgment that this is illegal. Then we can talk about it. I can't speculate on that matter. The Electoral Commission says there are 15 million registered voters expected to participate in these elections at a later date to be fixed before the end of this year. Jingo Francis, NTV.